This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. Of that, I'm actually working on animation and games. And then I'm on Lesson 5, Variables, which is, and Part 9 of it, Debug Naming Variables. This program has multiple errors caused by bad label names. The errors prevent the program from being viewed in block mode? Really? Oh no! So the code is in the text, okay? Do this. Find the rule each variable label violates. Ooh, ooh, violating rules. No, no. Correct the errors by picking new names that follow the rules you've learned in the last level. What? New names? Um, this might be a problem. I'm going to click over here for a bit of help. Variable names. Hmm. Ah, we have a hint. So if you didn't read carefully in the last uh, level, labels can't have spaces. Labels can't start with a number. Capitalization and spelling must be exactly the same. So the errors prevent the code from running. Find the rule each variable label violates. All right, so let's check these out. Size of circle. So that was, which one was that? This last one? Nope, the first one. It can't have spaces. Chuka. Chuka. And it is standard in programming to make things easier to read for programmers like you and me, right? Um, if you do want a title with a, a variable of multiple words because it explains more, that's fine. You would want to capitalize the start of each new word so it's easier for people to read because you can never ever have spaces. So I'm going to follow that format, which is what I just did with circles. Okay. And then I would have to carry it on down here. It's saying circle size is not defined, but it's not called in your program. Okay. We'll worry about that in a sec. This one, one to start with a number. Oh, they can't start with a number. I'm just going to get rid of and just call that dimension. Okay. And spelling and capitalization must be the same. Ah, you see the problem here? So first, we need to get rid of one dimension, right? Line six, we're trying to use these variables. Okay. And it's just like the block, except it's in text. So this should be X, right? And an ellipse, X, Y. W and height. So X, Y, width and height. And Y, we lowercase Y location. So I need to delete that and make it the exact same. Okay. Size of circle. Oh, I don't know. oh, size of circle. That was that thing that we got rid of the spaces on. And I capitalized to make it look like standard programming variables. Whoops. Oh, my screen's jumping around. Let's see. Okay, and size of circle again. All right, same deal there because I just deleted the spaces. It has to be exactly the same. If there's a capital and you don't have a capital, it is broken. It won't work. All right, let's see if I did some things right. Fingers crossed. Run. Size of circle. Is that looking like, oh, well, I think we have it. Will it let us go here yet or no? Oh, it will. So our code must be functioning right now. And it looks like the picture. Awesome. I think, was that all? Yep, these hints are super helpful. Always remember, too, you can get some info by this toolbox. Anyways, let's keep going.